The recent NEC meeting held on Tuesday, December 5th, purported to make decisions that blatantly disregarded the very principles and guidelines enshrined within the CPP's constitution, let me be unequivocally clear that meeting was illegal from its inception, lacking the proper organization and the fundamental respect for our party's founding document, which is our constitution. During this meeting, let the record show that certain individuals voluntarily resigned from this from their positions, Comrade Moses Yirimambo, Comrade Osei Kofi Akwa, Comrade Aisha Sulefuta, Comrade Imano Pariado, and Comrade Nanaya Jantua decided to step down. However, and crucially, it must be emphasized that neither the national chairman and leader, Nana Akosia from Poma Saponkumankuma, nor her three deputies resigned. I reiterate, Nana Akosia from Poman Saponkumankuma remains the chairman and leader of the CPP. Yes. I reiterate, Nana Akosia from Poman Saponkumankuma remains the chair and leader of the CPP. Her firm stance against resigning was explicitly stated during the next meeting and meticulously recorded in the meetings minutes. Therefore, any claims suggesting her removal are baseless and hold no legitimacy within our party's framework. Moreover, the CPP's constitution does not acknowledge or endorse any body acting to any interim council. Such a creation is a direct violation of our constitution and stands as an affront to the principles upon which our party was founded. Hey. Let us not be misled or swayed by voices claiming authority but lacking the foundations of legitimacy. The only recognized entity empowered to speak on behalf of our party is the national chair and leader, in accordance with our constitution, since our general secretary and some, some of the executives have now resigned from their positions. Our I call upon all members of the Convention People's Party to maintain faith and trust in Nana Akosia from Poman Saponkumankumas leadership. She remains dedicated to the party's activities and has provided clear directives for the reorganization and, up, and upcoming internal elections leading to the 2024 general elections. In light of recent vacancies resulting from voluntary resignations, the national chair and leader, war in collaboration with the Council of Elders, according to Article 67 and 68 of the party's constitution, initiate the process of filling these vacant positions through the Central Committee, ensuring the appointment of qualified members in accordance with our constitution. Regarding the events of the next meeting, let me clarify the sequence of events. One. The agenda for the meeting was not disclosed until the day of the gathering. Yes. Yes. Two, after the items on the agenda were fully discussed and exhausted, a petition was suddenly presented by Comrade Yirimambo without prior notice or mention in the agenda. This petition was purported from someone in the Okere constituency in the Eastern region claiming to be a party member. The chair and leader contested the sudden move, rightfully asserting that any action against any member of the national leadership should follow the due process outlined in Article 2 of the party's constitution. <laughs> Five, we need, to stake on, we need to state on record here once again that the chair and leader, Nana Kosia from Poman, refused to resign and she made her position loud and clear, which was recorded in the minutes of the meeting. <coughs> After making her stance clear, Nana Frimpoma proceeded to call for a close of the next meeting. Mm -hmm.